Are you lucky enough to get yourself a new MacBook Pro? They're absolutely wonderful machines, aren't they? I've been using my 14-inch M1 MacBook Pro for about a week now, and I'm absolutely loving it. And now that you have your brand new MacBook Pro, it's time to get some accessories for it to get the most out of it. And here are three recommendations for the first accessories I think you should get with your MacBook Pro. And don't worry if you don't have an M1 Pro or M1 Max machine. These accessories apply to both the M1 and Intel MacBook Pros as well. The first accessory I think you should get is a dock. Now I use my MacBook Pro on a desk both at home and in the office. And every day when I get into the office or when I go home, I just want to be able to plug in one cable and have all of my things connected. Now this could include a monitor, Ethernet, external hard drives, and then with the keyboard and mouse, I just use wireless ones. And for that reason, I use a dock. And with a dock, I really think you should get one that has a lot of connectivity options, plus the bandwidth to support and power the devices all connected to them. And to me, the CalDigit TS3 Plus is the gold standard for MacBook Pro docks. And, and this is the TS3 uh, right here. It's got 15 ports, including a Thunderbolt 3 with 87 watt charging, uh, 7 USB ports, so that's 5 USB-A and 2 USB-C. It's got gigabit Ethernet, optical and analog audio ports, a display port, and an SD card slot. So you really have all your connectivity options covered with the TS3+. Plus, Plus this dock is completely plug and play, so you do not need to install any drivers or software to get it to work with your MacBook Pro. And also on the M1 Pro and M1 Max machines, it does support multiple displays as well. And then in terms of the design, it's got a full metal construction and the dock can actually be used uh, vertically or horizontally, like so. Uh, CalDigit actually includes these little silicon feet inside the box, so it doesn't slide around when you're using it in the horizontal position. And using this dock is pretty simple. So you plug in all your devices into the dock, like uh, for example, in the office here, I have a monitor plugged into the Thunderbolt port. I have the Ethernet plugged in for our wired network. I also have our USB hard drives connected to the USB-A ports for backup. And then after that, you just take the included Thunderbolt cable and plug it into your MacBook Pro and everything works. And I can't emphasize how convenient it is just to have one cable plugged into my MacBook Pro when I get home and get to the office and have my laptop charging and my monitor and everything connected so I can get to work straight away. So getting to my desk and plugging in one cable instead of three or four really does save a lot of time. The CalDigit TS3 is $439.95 in Australia and it is compatible with both Intel and Apple Silicon Macs. The second accessory I'd recommend that you get with your new MacBook Pro is a laptop stand. Laptop stands are all about helping with ergonomics uh, specifically with getting like the screen to a, a more comfortable viewing height. So the recommendations I'm going to make are really based off how you want to use your MacBook Pro. And the first couple of recommendations I'm going to make are based off uh, desktop setup. And for desktop setups, I mean you're using your MacBook with an external keyboard and mouse. The first stand I like to recommend is the 12 South Curve. Now to me, this is one of the most beautiful laptop stands out there. I mean, without a laptop on it, it almost kind of just looks like a sculpture. The stand is all metal with a matte finish, and it also has these little uh, silicon pads here so it doesn't scratch your MacBook Pro. And as you can see, it does keep the screen up at a pretty ergonomic height. So if I take my MacBook Pro, as you can see, it gets the screen up to a nice comfortable height, and it also gets the webcam up to a more natural level as well. So People aren't looking up your nose when your laptop is flat on your desk. And there really isn't that much more to say about the 12 South Curve. It's just a really beautiful looking laptop stand. Uh, the 12 South Curve is available in Australia for $89.95 and it comes in two colors, a matte white and a matte black. And the second stand that I'm gonna recommend is also a desktop stand. This is the Rain Design uh, M stand. The M stand is made from a single piece of aluminum and the design is inspired by the old sort of Apple cinema display and iMac stands. And again, if we put our laptop on it, 
he really puts the, the screen up at that natural height and the webcam as well. And it also has these little silicon pads so it doesn't scratch your MacBook when you put it on there. And as you can see here, there's a little outlet for putting cables and things through. And the M, M stand has a bit more of a closed design compared to the 12 South Curve, which is good if you need to like hide stuff behind it like docks and cables and things. Uh, Rain Design also make a version of this called the 360 that swivels, which is really useful if you need to share your screen with people around you or to just annoy people on Zoom. And the Rain Design M stand is $79.95 and it's available in silver, space gray, gold, and this new black color. And the 360 version with the swivel comes in silver, space gray, and black and it's $89.95. My next laptop stand recommendation is for people who just want to use their laptops at a desk. And this is the 12 South Park Slope. And it has this really compact uh, all metal design with these uh, silicon surfaces and a little bit of cable management as well. And if, again, I take my MacBook Pro and put it on here, you can see that not only does it lift the screen up to a more ergonomic height as well, but it also tilts the keyboard up to a more natural wrist position. And as an added bonus, if you use an iPad Pro, you can actually use the Park Slope as a drawing stand as well. The 12 South Park Slope is $89.95 and only comes in black. My last laptop stand recommendation is for people who use their laptops as desktop computers. And it is the 12 South Book Arc. And it's basically this metal arc with these silicon inserts that hold the MacBook Pro vertically. Holding the MacBook Pro vertically saves a lot of space on your desk. And this is how the MacBook Pro looks when it's inside the book arc. And to use your machine like this, uh, it uses something called clamshell mode. So once you plug in an external keyboard and display to the MacBook Pro, uh, you can actually wake the machine and use it and it leaves the onboard display turned off. And the book arc works really great with something like a CalDigit TS3 because you can put the whole setup behind the monitor and out of the way. As of filming, 12 South is not updated these uh, silicon inserts on the book arcs as yet, uh, but they said they're working on it on their website. And one great thing about having these uh, silicon inserts that you can swap around is that when there are new machines, 12 South will release new silicon inserts and you don't have to replace the entire book arc for it to be compatible. And changing the silicon inserts is pretty easy. You can just pinch them and then pull them out like so. The 12 South book arc is $89.95 and comes in silver and space gray. The third accessory that I recommend is the Moment MTW Tech Organizer. And this is good for keeping all those things like MagSafe chargers, uh, external hard drives, adapters, cables, all organized and in one place. The Tech Organizer is actually made from recycled nylon and it's actually a two-in-one design. So if I open this up, you get this big pouch and you get a mini one inside it as well. I find that the mini pouch is great when you just need a few essentials. So if you're just gonna go out for a coffee and you know that you don't need to charge your machine, then you don't really need to lug around the big pouch with the power adapter inside. You really just need things like hard drives, cables, and even like a pen and a notepad. And the mini pouch is also great for keeping everything organized. So you don't have to dig through this pouch to find these little cables and adapters. And if you open up the mini pouch, you can see there's plenty of little like pockets and things. You can put a pen or an Apple pencil here. I have the cable to my CalDigit hard drive and just a USB-C lightning cable. And you can see in the larger pouch, there's large pockets where I put the power adapter for the MacBook Pro with the chunky Australian power plugs. I have a hub and then I also on this side have two external hard drives, the MagSafe cable. There's also this thing they call a junk drawer which is like a zippered pocket and you can put little things like the micro SD to SD adapters, cables. There's also a couple of pockets in here as well. And then in the center part you can see there's, there's these little elastics where you can put cables and hard drives. Plenty of room for everything. And the other cool thing about the Tech Organizer is, is that it's designed to stand up. The Moment MTW Tech Organizer is only available in black and it's $74.95. Uh, this little mini pouch is also available separately for $49.95. And that is it. Those are my recommendations for must-have accessories to go with a new MacBook Pro. What are some of your favorite MacBook Pro accessories? 
let me know in the comments below. Links to all the products that I've shown in this video will be in the description box below as well. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.